Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number one on a new topic, short videos. So this one I plan to have um, very short information but it's required to refresh ourselves or it needed in some of our development as well. So that is the reason it won't be more than 5 minutes or more than 10 minutes I can say. Uh, it uh, This one I'm going to add in every concept. I start with ABAP probably with CDS, ODATA and everything. And um, let's see how, how it goes. And I'm going to start with the concept how to copy a screen variant to another program. So I have a screen variant how, how to copy it. Most probably you might aware of it while copying itself. So there is an option to copy a program. We can use uh, copy variant like copy the variant as well to the new program that is an option another this one is i have a program it may be a different program or different uh, screens i'm talking about screen variants um i have a 10 screen input fields and the new program i have only eight or i have only five or i have only 15 so uh, instead of creating a variant i want to copy it from another program so you can do it so it's not a compulsory like you have the source and target program should be the same screen components it's not required so still you can do it okay so what happens is it try to copy the variant wherever it matches wherever the input component name matches it just keep the particular value to the particular component otherwise it won't give any errors okay so this is very um useful uh, option because you have a normally it requires uh, it, it if you have a screen variance of like 20 or 25 records or 25 values are maintaining example a plant or example some materials material types we are maintaining it so that way it will be very useful maybe we didn't we forgot or we didn't do it in the initial time so in the middle of the program so if you want to do it what we can do that's what i'm going to explain in this video okay let's take into that uh, mostly i i don't want to uh, have any um, ppt more slides on it if required definitely i will provide you for this one it's not required it has only one function module i will show you in the system itself so this is my system i have a program already program is this one cgi program one Up. Mm. hold on this is my program it has very simple uh, input components one is parameters another one is select options so if i execute i have this and uh, let me have a variant i'm going to create a variant first in my source program this is my source program and i'm um, going to add some values for my plant so imagine if you have um, 20 variants 20 values for this particular component so instead of typing it you can copy it so you have new program. So this is my variant. This is my values. I'm going to create a variant. Um, variant one. Copy variant process. Save it. Okay. So I have a variant now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this program. So program two. Copy it. So you have an option, do you want a variance? Suppose I didn't use it or I might require after the program is created. Okay, so that is the idea of this pro this concept. Copy a variant from one program to another one. Activate it, make sure your program is active. And uh, I'm going with the same design. Okay, if I press F8, I am in the program too. I don't have a variant. So I'm going to copy the variant my source program. Now I'm going with the same component without any change then i will show you if i change what happens okay so there is a standard function module to copy the variant from one program to another program it doesn't have any pre-request like you need the exact same design you need the exact name if it is available it will create a variant for the particular component if not nothing will happen 
So RS copy selection sets. This is the function module which I'm going to use to copy their variant. So just F8, give the source report name. My source report name is one and target is two. So here is going to be one. And this is going to be two. Come on. Yep, two. So I'm not going to change anything for the rest of the two um, parameters. And I'm going to execute it. So it shows runtime microseconds. It's executed perfectly. Now go to the program two, target program, F8. You're able to see the variants. Okay, just click exactly the same name and descriptions is copied from my source to system to target system sorry source program to target program just double click i have the variant okay so now suppose that is a name change uh okay i just de like commented it or uh, there is a different names let me have one more here So what will happen from the function model perspective so just go back again execute same output maybe a different in the seconds go to my program f8 so i have a different uh, layout just double click it just placed wherever the component matches okay so you don't worry about the source and target component or the screen component should be same to use this function module or to copy the variant. That is not the uh, case or that is not the prerequisite of this particular function module. Okay. So hope this might useful, maybe some of your development or some of your projects. So if it is really, I'm happy for that. That's it. So it's very short. Probably it's okay. It took almost seven minutes for me. That's good. So thank you so much for your time. See you in the next interesting short video. Bye.